in this video I'm doing a very exciting unboxing. This guy right here is my Glam Raider mystery box. So if you want to see what I got inside this mystery box, then keep on watching. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast and in today's video I am doing an unboxing. This is my first ever mystery box from Glam Raider. I have heard fantastic things about these mystery boxes so I couldn't resist when they announced that they were doing another round of these mystery boxes. So without further ado, let me rip this bag open, open the box and let's jump on in to the unboxing. So, this is my mystery box right here. I got the, there was three different sizes of mystery boxes. There was a small, a medium and a large. I went with the middle one called the deluxe mystery box. It cost me $110. Inside this box, there's supposed to be 260 plus dollars worth of makeup. This box did come with free express post shipping in Australia. I ordered this, I think it was Tuesday at lunchtime and it arrived on Wednesday afternoon. So hella good shipping. I was so excited that it came so quickly so I could jump on camera here and do an unboxing with you guys. I'm so excited to see what's in this box. The shipping notification said there's like one and a half kilos of makeup in here, so I am so excited to see what's inside. Oh, I already see some exciting things. So this is what she looks like right here. So let me grab the first thing that's on the top. And the first thing is a set of eyelashes, and these are from Shanexo. These are false eyelashes. This comes with five sets of eyelashes. I think I'll do a total at the end of this video so you guys can have a good idea of what the actual value is, um, whether it's like more or less than what they said the value was. But my box is supposed to be 260 so so far this is a cool little... <sighs> The next one is something that I was really hoping was not in here. I was talking to my friend at work who ended up getting the really big box and we both said to each other we really hoped that there was no tanning products in our boxes because neither of us tan. This is the Bondi Sands One Day Tan. This is the Instant Wash Off Flawless Tan for face and body. So this must be similar to like the Sally Hansen, um, what is it, the airbrush legs, but in like a makeup squeezy tube form. Maybe I'll give it a go. I don't know because I'm very, very pale. So even if I just put things like this just on my legs, it does look a bit odd because I'm so pale, like all over my skin. Oh, there's some exciting things in here. Oh my gosh, there's quite a lot in here. Next is this bundle right here. And, ooh, ooh. We have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Face Palette. So this has four highlighters in. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm going to show you this first, but the thing that was under this is so exciting. Oh my god. Um, so this is in Catwalk Pink. Because this actually looks like quite a nice colour. It's huge though. This is like <laughs> almost the size of half my face. That's the four colours there. They seem a little bit chalky almost. They are a little bit chalky. But they might be nice on like the everyday. But yeah, they seem a little bit chalky and textury. Um, so I'm not quite sure how that will go on my skin because I have like a bit of texture on my cheeks So I'm worried that that might emphasize the texture <sighs> The next thing is so exciting and I really 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 hope this is the right color for me This is one of the Luna Beauty highlighting powders I've actually been wanting to buy one of these for ages. This is his Moon Prism powders. I really, really hope this is not the dark one. Oh, I think it's the dark one. Damn it. So this is in Jupiter. So I think this is the darkest one. I'm, I'm going to swatch it anyway. That's what it looks like there. That's so sad. 
Oh, that's so sad. I really, really wanted the the lighter one, the, the color that I've been like eyeing off for ages. But I'm gonna maybe have a little bit more of a play with this and if it might help me decide if I actually want to get the the color that I'm chasing. How beautiful is this packaging? Like that's it it like slides out and many MUA is like the moon. So he's got the cutout, really cool packaging. Next, we have another bundle here. Um, I have a little Wet n Wild single here, and it looks like it's a jet black um, in the color Panther. Probably won't get much use out of that. Next is a Ofra highlighter. This is in Beverly Hills, the highlighter that has all the different so I think I probably would keep the colors separate because if you can see in the pan I just saw them all together and that's how she's looking so um, I'm gonna keep playing with that one I am I do have a few of the offer highlighters and I do quite like them they can be pretty blinding if that's what you're into another bundle here and it looks like these are both from Ofra as well this one has leaked a little bit um this is the Ofra perfecting elixir um with apple stem cells so is it a so it looks like it might be a bit of a toner which is interesting um and it has leaked a little bit which is disappointing but um not enough to like destroy anything so that's fine and then the next one here is the ofra primer this is the no butts prime first i don't know if they have more than one highlighter oh this is cool packaging oh i think i'm gonna like that smells quite nice and it's like a lotiony like hydrating hydrating primer and it does say northern light so it must have a bit of a must have like a subtle sheen to it which i am all about that at the moment so i'm going to see how that one looks under my makeup i'm excited about that one actually oh we're still going um next i have another bundle in here i have the i heart makeup london chocolate and peaches palette um i'll open this one up but i don't think i'll i don't think i'll swatch it because i don't think i'll keep this one um but that's what that one looks like there these are definitely not my colors and then there's this one which i think i actually was really considering buying this one this is the makeup revolution and pride collaboration palette that they came out with for pride month the packaging on this is actually really cool it's like holographic let me see what it looks like inside mm. no this must not have been the palette i was gonna buy so that's what she looks like there and then i have two more items in here we're still going this is the wet and wild liquid catsuit metallic in satin sheets um, that's what she looks like there once again i don't think i'm going to get any use out of this so i'm going to pop that one aside um, and then the lucky last one here is the Gypsy Shine Pink Unicorn Face Jewels. So it's a little set of jewels, which is super cool. I've actually looked at these a few times and never really brought any because I thought that, not that it was a waste of my money, but just that I wouldn't use it. So it's cool that I have it in my stash now that I can give it a try and see what it's like maybe I can include it in a makeup look at some point in the future so that's my little mystery box super good value by the looks of it I will leave on the screen I will leave on the screen up here the value of everything in the box I think it's super good value but I am a little bit disappointed <laughs> I think it's good value but there are a few things that um like these guys that just because it it's me and I'm a bit picky sometimes. I won't use those products. I would have almost fell, fell off my chair 
um, if this was the lighter shade but unfortunately I managed to get the darker shade which for me with my pale skin may not work. This was a very highlighter heavy box but I'm not really complaining. I do love a good highlighter so I'm going to have a play with this one and see how it goes on my skin and I do love the Ofra formula already and I think it, this one's cool with how it's got the different colours so I'll get to play with a couple more different colours of the Ofra highlighters. Really excited to try this um, primer. I think I'm going to love this primer. Um, not quite sure what, what this is. I think it's a toner. I'll definitely incorporate it into my routine and see how I get on with it. And then the lashes, I'll either use these on myself or throw them in my makeup kit. So I think it was a really good mixture of items. Um, obviously, I wasn't the luckiest and I didn't get every single item that I would use myself but I've definitely got extra items in there that I can give to friends or including giveaways whatnot I will definitely find people that will enjoy these products in my life so I think it was a really good box I was tossing up between getting the medium or the large I opted for the medium um, and my friend at work got the large so I'm waiting until I go back to work tomorrow to see what she got in her box and we're going to compare notes let me know down in the comments box what you thought of everything that I got in my box and also if you got one make sure you let me know what your favorite item that you got in your box was don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy mystery box unboxings if you're new around here I hope you would consider subscribing down below so you can keep up to date on all my videos that I release twice a week that's it for this video everyone I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video Goodbye.